What's up, everybody? Rob Cash is on the set. Before we get started, any mentioning of any digital asset is not financial advice. If you need help, please seek help, and hopefully there's someone out there that can give you a hand with educating you on cryptos. Now, we're going to talk about Pundiex today in this video, and for those that are interested, welcome. For those that are new, welcome. For those that are not interested, remember you have the freedom of choice. Do not come in here bashing me or others if you're not interested in this information about Pundiex. Remember, you have the choice not to participate. Now, let's move on with it. Uh, I'm going to talk about several several things. I'm going to talk about uh, news of Pundiex, things throughout May that I'm going to share with you as well. Things that I wanted to share with you earlier, but I'm going to do it in this video. But I'm not going to try to cram it all in because I know people have, you know, short tension spans today so i'm just going to try to keep it as simple as possible but this is not going to be a short video but again if you're interested hang around maybe there's some good stuff out here for you now i'm very interested in pundi x for those that have been following me for the last couple of years know that i'm very bullish on pundi and personally i think a lot of this news i'm going to share with you is very imperative now we're going to get to what you see on the screen here where it says elliptic launches support for mpxs token you know sponsored by the pundiex team now we're going to read through this monthly report i'm not sharing everything but i'm going to link this monthly report of may uh for pundiex labs well from pundiex labs in the description so that way if you want to you know deep dive yourself into further information you'll be able to do so at you know at your own leisure you'll have everything that you need to know now, we're going to get into Elliptic and who they are as well, too. So, let's go along for the ride. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to read several uh, articles here in this monthly report about Pundiex. So, crypto asset risk management solution provider Elliptic has launched support for NPXS in this compliance tools, uh, which has built more credibility in NPXS. So, just to let you know, they're a risk management, you know, firm, like they says, and, and what they do is they assess different cryptos, and I'm going to get into who they are as well. And down here, you talk about Tron Wallet added swap pairs for MPXS. As you see there, the pairs, uh, MPXS BTC, uh, Pundiex Token TRX, Pundiex Token Ether, Pundiex Token uh, TWX, don't know what that is, uh, Pundiex Token USDT. So, these are you know, new pairs for the Tron wallet that are paired with NPXS, the Pundiex token. Sometime I'm going to switch up and say the whole, you know, abbreviation, I'll just say Pundiex token, okay? And I'm scrolling slowly so that way you'll see all the things that's here. And on May 19th, which is passed already, again, I'm sharing with you the monthly news of May, you know, from Pundiex Labs, things that I wanted to share with you earlier, you know, but I'm just putting it in this video as well. So on May 19th, uh, SimpleSwap Exchange has announced its support for MPXS. It is a free from sign up uh, platform that offers exchanges of more than 300 cryptocurrencies. To learn how the swap works, you can check out their video here. So again, this Medium article is going to be posted in the description of this video. So all the things you need to click on will be available from the Medium link. All right. And I've used Simple Swap, guys. I'm telling you, I love it. And someone in the comments last year in a video I've done put me up on Simple Swap. I don't remember who you are, but thank you so much. Simple Swap, you can get definitely the most interesting cryptos, you know, from that platform. You know, I actually have it on the uh, homepage of my phone. So, very clean, very easy to use. I recommend you check them out. And so says here our team is glad to support pundix labs on simpleswap.io and it means that you can buy or sell npxs on our exchange with uh without sign up that's very key too without sign up so you get to remain pretty private okay so without sign up and any other uh complications 300 plus cryptos are available for your swap like i said very clean very private very good to use and uh, that's about it I'm going to do with this Medium article. Like I said, it's going to be linked in the description. So if you want to get into more details and other news about Pundiex, uh, it's going to be linked. You can check it out and go further. So now let's move on to the next thing. Now, right here, it says Merchant Adoption, okay, in this Medium article as well. Now, 
we're going to talk about uh, Pundiac's uh, partnership with Greece and stuff like that. Now, a lot of you that have been following Pundiac, you already know this news. You can fast forward to the whole PayPal thing, which I'm going to get into as well with, you know, PayPal and Pundiac Labs. But for those that don't know, this could be important. Now, just to let you know, Pundiac Labs actually have an agreement with the Cyprus government in Greece. So in case you're wondering why this is important, this is a refresh for some folks, and this is new news to some folks, okay? So let's read here where it says, Merchant Adoption. Uh, in May, despite the challenging climate for the physical retail space, we have continued to activate new Expos merchants around the world. We like to share the below images sent by our newly onboarded merchants, and let's welcome them to the Expos family. Greece's first physical shop to accept crypto. So I'm going to scroll down here, guys, so you can check out everything here. Welcome to the Xpos family, a tweet by uh, Pundi X Labs. I am proud to be the first physical shop in Greece that accept and sell cryptocurrencies with, uh, with, the, with the best crypto POS in the world. I'm sorry I didn't read that, read that more seamlessly. I'll start over. What the hell's wrong with me? I'm going to start over. I am proud to be the first physical shop in Greece that accept and sell cryptocurrencies with the best crypto POS in the world. Xpos hashtag Pundiax. So as you see here, this is the merchant behind him and his products with the Xpos device. And these things matter. Now, this right here talks about uh, Cyprus. Once upon a time, Cyprus is another tweet by Pundi X Labs. Welcome to the Xpos family. Say yes to these amazing wedding dresses with contactless hashtag blockchain payments. And right here you can see all the different cryptocurrencies they accept in the hashtags, in the tags right there. That's available on the Xpos device. It has the address right there. So I'm basically showing you, you know, the adoption that Pundiax Labs, you know, have been further achieving. Because if you've been following Pundiax, you know they, you know, have uh, agreements with the UAE, that's the United Arab Emirates, you know, uh, with South America and Brazil, you know, and in Africa, Nigeria, these guys are making moves. And I just want to explain something. And as you see right here, I, right there, it says it, Norway and UAE. As you see, adoption is on the table. Now, a lot of people, they like to equate, you know, price with adoption. Okay, I do not do that. Of course, there are a lot of different projects out there that react to price all the time. And it's a wonderful thing. It really is. But you have to let the house be built. You know, restaurants, sometimes it takes them a few years before they can, before they can see any profits. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to give things time. A lot of people is expecting some type of magical flip once they put their money in and they expect projects to just shoot to the moon. And even if it's been a couple of years, a lot of people get frustrated. They call this coin garbage. They call that project garbage just because the price didn't move. You have to be in this for the long term. It's called investing for a reason. It's not called flipping. If you want to do a flip, do a drug deal, do something illegal or do a house and get lucky. OK, that's all it is. You have to be patient. You have to do your due diligence. You have to understand, you know, what's being done by the team. You have to understand the type of market they're trying to corner. And you have to just sit back and watch all these things from afar. Don't get clouded up by other people's judgment. You know, I have to speak on these things because there are going to be people in the comments. Oh, Pundi X is only this. It only costs that. The price hasn't moved. Look at what they're doing. They haven't failed. Think about all the projects out there that are losing money. They can't be funded. The project is dead. They also use these tokens as their means of income to keep the project going. Because Pundiax actually has a multi-token system. And their mainnet is going to be launched soon. Because right now, their tokens are being built on the Ethereum blockchain. And they're going to get away from Ethereum's blockchain. And they're going to have their own mainnet sometime this year. So again, just take in the information, watch what they're doing, and you follow from there. Now let's move on to the next thing.
Now, folks, um, this is elliptic. Now, I mentioned elliptic, you know, just a minute ago and showing you why, you know, this is good for the Pundi X token. And I'm going to read here, elliptic, protecting business against financial crime in crypto. Financial institutions and cryptocurrency companies rely on elliptics blockchain analytics to manage risk and meet regulatory compliance worldwide. Now, you have a lot of, I guess, clouded people. That's what I'm going to say. You know, because when we talk about compliance, you know, people talk about the original idea of Bitcoin and, you know, and how it's supposed to be away from the actual, you know, system that we're so unhappy with. But let's 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 live in reality. None of these uh, projects or this infrastructure in the system is not going to change without weaving into it or working with it somehow. It's not just going to abolish it. That's a machine that's too big to be taken out. I live in the reality of, of what we're dealing with. I don't know about some people. They're still living on this cloud like, you know, Bitcoin is going to take down the man. It's not going to happen. And I love Bitcoin. Okay, I love cryptocurrency, but it's not going to take down the quote unquote man. Okay, we're all going to have to work with the system in order to better the system and take advantage. Because remember, we're here early and I know a lot of people just want to hear the news. But listen, there are new people that are in this space and they need to hear this perspective. Okay, the old system is not going to be taken out. It's not just going to be yanked out like some heart in a martial arts movie where you just killed the bad guy and you got his heart pumping in your hand and he's dead no it's not going to happen you're going to have to methodically weave ourselves into the system and thank goodness that you're here early to take advantage of it because remember it's still early and a lot of us are invested before the major institutions you're still early okay because you got to think of it like this when when the news when, when when the talking parrots on your network news start talking about all the good things of of bitcoin xrp ethereum and just blockchain and cryptocurrency in general and telling the people that the water's safe to swim in now because that's all it is they're telling you that the water's no good all cryptos issues for crime and stuff like that but there's going to be a time and it's starting to warm up if you guys noticed that that the news has been getting more positive on cryptocurrencies so when they flip the switch and tell everyone that the water's warm come on and it's great you can swim now we cleaned it out for you. Think about all the different things they have to choose from. And all these people are going to FOMO in. That means fear of missing out for those that are new. And they're going to be looking at projects like Pundiax. And it's probably still going to be so cheap. They're going to look at its physical working device. Not just promises. They have a physical working device being used by governments and retailers. Okay, And they're going to see how cheap that is. And they're going to say this is a no brainer for me. So just that alone, of course, coupled with adoption, I see a lot of promise. Again, I have to put my little inserts in there, you know, and I'm going to read just a little bit more about elliptic. All right. And I hope you're still with me. Our expertise. Auditable proof to comply with AML regulations. That means anti-money laundering. Elliptic's proprietary database delivers auditable proof of identity for millions of addresses in multiple cryptocurrencies including bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash litecoin and others across thousands of real world entities gain the confidence you need to investigate evaluate and pursue suspicious activity in cryptocurrencies so this is all about elliptic okay this is what they're do and for them to be compliant and adding NP access to Pundiax token to their list of compliant cryptocurrencies give institutions clarity and some ease of partnering with a project like Pundiax. This let these entities know that, okay, it's safe to work with this project. And that means a lot because a lot of these companies aren't going to move on things just off a handshake. They want to know, are these things technically sound? Are they safe? Okay, that's what this means. So elliptic, that's a big deal for Pundiax and other cryptocurrencies as well. All right, and, and a lot of the top, you know, 50 are uh, compliant with elliptic. And let's see who's also behind elliptic. So let's move on. 
Okay, here's an article by CNBC. Wells Fargo backs a startup that helps banks manage cryptocurrency risks. Let's scroll down here. Elliptic is known for its analyt, uh, analysis tools, which are used to help cryptocurrency platforms find and block illicit transactions. The investment into Elliptic from Wells Fargo's venture unit is an extension of the startup's $23 million Series B funding round. The capital will be used to invest in Elliptic's discovery product and help it expand geographically with a particularly focus I mean, I'm sorry, with a particular focus on Asia. Now, I'm just going to keep it simple. Just showing you who's behind Elliptic. And for Wells Fargo, one of the largest banks, you know, and oldest banks in the United States, showing you this is not just some fly-by-night company and that their place, you know, so far as uh, helping enterprise, you know, uh, deal with AML and other different nuances for cryptocurrencies before on onboarding them in a partnership or anything like that. Follow the money. That's all you have to do. Let's move on to the next article. Okay, folks, now for those that have been following me, you know, I apologize for bringing this article up again, but I'm also showing this to people who are new to the channel, new to PundiX, or even just maybe even new to crypto in general. Now, uh, this article again, PundiX and Borges Ventures enable blockchain technology rollout in Cyprus, Greece. Now, for those that are just, you know, getting their head out of the sand, some years ago, you know, uh, they had, a, uh, you know, their economy just, just tanked, you know, not as bad as Venezuela, but it tanked. And there was a run on the banks in 2012 in Cyprus, Greece. And ever since then, these people have tried, you know, they're not trying to make themselves vulnerable to the financial system again, you know. And for those that, like I said, had their heads buried under the sand, you know, this is one of the main reasons why, you know, a lot of, you know, countries are looking, you know, towards blockchain for their finances, and not even just that, for other uh, infrastructure as well, because they don't want to be hold, they don't want to be, you know, uh, beholding to the existing system, you know, especially, you know, banks and bank runs, you have to worry about, you know, being able to get your own money out of a bank. As to blockchain, you wouldn't have to worry about that. You're in control, and that's what people are looking at, decentralization. So I'm going to move on with the article, because I could talk about that kind of crap all day. But just to let you know, Cyprus, Greece, had a major problem in 2012, where there was a run on the banks, their, comp you know, their economy tanked, and things like that, and they're looking to you know, take, take things to the next level. So I'm going to read the title again, Pundiax and Borges Ventures Enable uh, Blockchain Technology Rollout in Cyprus. Going to scroll down, get to the meat potatoes of the article. Uh, there's the CEO of uh, PundiX right there on the left, far left, Zach Chi. And I'm going to skip past this stuff here because I'll link the article in the description where you'll be able to get, you know, the meat, potatoes, and dessert of this article. Okay, now. Powering Cyprus through FunctionX blockchain technology. PundiX and Borges Ventures will work together to identify issues and gaps within different business industries that can be addressed by blockchain technology. These sectors include, I'm sorry, these sectors include healthcare, law, fintech, edutech, uh, shipping, land registry, uh, certifications, charity, and many more. Now I'm going to pause right there. Remember just, you know, about 10 minutes back when I showed you in the Medium article, where they showed the businesses that were starting up using the Pundiax Xbox in its blockchain, okay, with the dress shop, okay, the other gentleman with his shop. This is all going on in Cyprus right now. It's already being launched. Things are happening. So when people talk about Pundiax, oh, it's not doing this, adoption matters. Don't worry about the price. These things will happen these things will happen organically. The adoption matters. You can have a token that's going to the moon right now, which I know that will be great to make some money. Don't get it twisted. I'm here to make money. That's it. I'm not in love with no project because if I find something that's better than this, I'm going to get it too. But for right now, I'm all about the adoption. And of course, I want to make money. But if a project or a particular coin is going to the moon, nothing behind it, no real substance, 
hey, listen, if you can gamble, get some money off of it, because I've done it too and still do it, I'm going to do it. But for the most part, long term, these are the type of things that I look for. Now, down here it says, when processes in these industries are taken to the blockchain, businesses will have more secure, more seamless, and more straightforward experience, said Joseph Borges, founder and CEO of Borges Ventures. We're excited to work with Pundiax bridging blockchain technology between Singapore and Cyprus and implementing these solutions that will have immense benefits for consumers and citizens. I'm going to stop right there. Now, again, I showed you the tweets earlier from the Medium article with the businesses that are using the XPOS device and Pundiax blockchain. Now, I'm going to scroll back up here where it says Powering Cyprus. You see it right there on the screen through Function X blockchain technology. Now, the Function X blockchain is going to be their proprietary blockchain. Okay, that's going to be their mainnet. It's supposed to be launched sometime this year, 2020. All right. So now the MPXS token is right now on the Ethereum blockchain. So now you're probably thinking, okay, well, if they're going to have a mainnet, what's going to happen to the MPXS token? Okay. Now. If you look at my video where it says in depth, you know, information on Pundiax, you know, or Pundiax in depth, you know, it tells you all the different things that's going to be done in their progression once they launch the mainnet, once they launch the mainnet. Okay. The NPXS token is still going to be used in their ecosystem. Okay. With their partners and things like that. It's going to be used to pay out developers and stuff like that. It's going to be used for certain promotions and stuff within their wallet. So the token is still going to be used. And once the mainnet is launched, they're going to have their third and final token, which will be their monetary coin called the FX coin. Okay. So now you won't be able to swap one for one for that coin. Only certain countries, but a good majority won't. Okay. But think about if you're holding NPXS, this is just my opinion and this is just my strategy I'm sharing with you guys. You know, if you're holding a large amount of the NPXS token, when they launch the mainnet of the Function X coin, you'll be able to sell your NPXS, NPXS tokens and buy the FX coin. Now think about all the partnerships that I'm showing you and all the things that they're doing. All these things are going to be migrated to their proprietary blockchain. And I just saw a video that I shared on Twitter. Matter of fact, let me see, could I pull that up? Because I'm doing this video on the fly. Bear with me. Okay, now, this is my Twitter page, right? And this video right here is from my man, Rob Tech P, from um, Crypto Investigative Reports. Okay, oh, did I, let me, let me, let me, I screwed it up, let me, okay, let me, let me scroll up here. This is my tweet, right here on my page. For those who are into Pundiax, I strongly suggest checking out a Crypto News and Investigative Reports video chat with at Pundiax Labs U.S. distributor for some good updates about the FX uh, testnet and more. Listen, you need to check out this video because he talks about the Pundiax uh, blockchain and the testing that was going on with it. And, you know, you really just need to be up on it. If you're going to be investing in something, you might as well know, you should, not may as well, you should know all the information about the projects that you're sinking your money into. I highly, highly, if you're interested, if you're interested in Pundiax and you really want to know what's going on, also right now, I suggest you look at my man, uh, Rob Tech P video. And at this interview, it was a good interview. I loved it. I talk about, you know, mass adoption, Pundiax, and things of that nature. You know, I'm going to link it in the description. I suggest you check it out, folks, really. Definitely a good video, uh, good information. Please check it out. My man, Rob Tech P. Check out his channel, too. Subscribe. He don't come with no, no nonsense. He come with straight facts, good interviews, and that's it. No fluff, no bullshit, you know, no promoting. He just comes straight with the news. Black and white, cut and dry. Straight to the point. Check my man out. All right, folks. And last but certainly not least is the news of Pundiax Labs and PayPal partnership. Xpos, <clears throat> oh excuse me, 
Xbox devices soon to support online payment giant PayPal. Let's scroll on down and let's get with it. I love that picture. Adoption is on the set. At Pundi X, uh, at Pundi X, the team has always been dedicated to bringing people the best of what blockchain technology has to offer. From the day that the company first started out, Pundi X has envisioned a world where payments can be swift and seamless while staying secure. That's why we are elated to announce that our blockchain-based point-of-sale solution device, the XPOS, will include PayPal. Now, it gives the history on uh, PayPal, you know, being launched in 1998 and all those different nuances right there. But I'm going to scroll down here where it shows the tweet of Pundi X Labs where they did a survey of which mobile payment app you'd like to see uh, XPOS to support first. And right here has 67% PayPal, uh, WeChat Pay 18%, Avo Go Pay 6.6%, and Paytm 7.9%. So it looks like they followed the crowd and went on with PayPal. Now it says here, PayPal's inclusion on XPOS devices will then work in pretty much the same way as anywhere else. PayPal's base I mean PayPal's PayPal's basic features will be functional on XPOS devices, including of course accepting payments. Accepting payment, for instance, includes the payments via email or mobile uh, phone number. In the U.S., merchants will only have to show a certain QR code for their customers to pay. PayPal here, on the other hand, offers features for merchants to accept credit card payments. And it shows here the list of cards that they accept. Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Yet there's more to PayPal's inclusion than just simply making it painless for transactions to take place. Having PayPal working on XPOS devices <clears throat> also now means that users can easily purchase cryptocurrencies such as BTC, Ethereum, BNB, DAI, PundiX token, USDT, etc. at any XPOS merchant who has activated the device's crypto sale feature. These digital assets can then be securely stored in an XPOS card which makes dealing with cryptocurrency as easy as simply tapping the card to complete a transaction. For better management, the use of the XPass can also be paired with the Pundi X wallet app. So guys, check out the, uh, the app as well, because you can actually see all those different features within the app. I actually have the app on my tablet. I took it off my phone. I didn't have a lot of room for stuff. But it's a great app, and it works with their XPass um you know, wallet card. So they have a lot of great, you know, products to make, you know, transaction very smooth, very seamless. Because think about it, we live in a microwave, you know, society. People just want to grab things and go. There's no time for waiting on anything. There's no patience for nothing. I ain't mad at that, but I'm just telling you what it is. Now, let's read further. The deployment of PayPal on XPOS will be in two stages. Starting from today, XPOS merchants Merchants, what's wrong with me today? Starting from today, XPOS uh, merchants in the U.S. can apply for PayPal here inclusion by simply sending their IMEI numbers to support at PundiX.com. Merchants are required to set up a PayPal business account to activate credit card payment. Also, in this installation, XPOS supports keyed transactions only. Swipe credit card transactions is not supported. So you will have to key in all information from your card in order for this to work. Now, um, the, IEM, the IMEI number is basically the identification number for any uh, mobile device, so far as a tablet, so far as the, uh, your, your phone, and things of that nature. So that will be the, the, uh, the tag number or the actual like I said, the uh, the barcode number for that particular device, and everyone has their own identifying IMEI number. So that's the number that they're talking about. So each XPOS device will be identified from that number. The second stage is that XPOS merchants will have a PayPal app directly on XPOS devices through system upgrade two weeks from now. According to CEO and co-founder Zach Chi, this has also put Pundi X one step closer 
to its vision of making cryptocurrency accessible for everyone. It's always been our belief that cryptocurrencies simply hold various advantages that fiat money does not, he explains. Aside from better transactions, of course, we see cryptocurrency as something that promotes financial inclusion. Combine PayPal's massive user base with the fact that our Xbox devices are now operating in 30 plus markets globally and you could start seeing situations where dealing in crypto is as trouble free as buying a bottle of water. Now, again, I'm not promoting Pundi X, I'm just sharing my interest with you. And for those that are interested in Pundi X, we're taking this ride together. And the reason why I went back to show you those older articles is to give you the buildup of what they're doing in case you just haven't been, you know, paying attention or whatever. Or for those that are new, thinking that, you know, this thing with PayPal, you know, yeah, it's new and it's exciting, but they, they've been building up partnerships and all these things are going to connect. Okay, remember, we have the mainnet launch. Okay coming out this year. So think about all those partnerships moving to their mainnet and coming away from the Ethereum blockchain. So we're going to talk about fast, seamless transactions, and they're going to have their new coin launch, which is going to be their last and final monetary, their monetary coin for their proprietary blockchain. Okay, think about all these things, and you can look back in my archive of videos, and you can get in-depth information on that. And you can also go to PundiX website, the Function X website. I'm going to link that in the description as well, so you can get all this information for yourselves to have it on your hand. You don't have to take my word for it. So, this is Rob Cash, and I'm off the set with all the great PundiX news. For all you people out there, be safe, protect your money.